Hello everyone, this is Joe Felix. Welcome to my channel, Knowing the World. Today I'm going to talk to you about extraterrestrials on Earth. In 1957, an extraterrestrial named Valiant Thor landed in a field in Alexandria, Virginia. He asked to see the president. After questioning him, they brought him to see President Eisenhower. He claimed that he came from Venice and that the Council of Nine sent a message that the U.S and Russia should dismantle their nuclear arsenal. I cannot tell you which council of nine that he was talking about. If it was the Egyptian, the East Indian, or the Greek, that is made up of, let me read it to you, Aphrodite, Apollo, Athena, Demeter, Hephaestus, Hermes, Poseidon, and Zeus. Those are the nine Greek gods. Now, I don't know which one that he was talking about, but there is a council of nine. Valiant Thor was from Venice. He lived in the Pentagon from 1957 until 1960 before he went back to where he came from. You may hear a music, a ranchera playing. Those are the people cleaning the rooms, um, playing the music as they work. I'm sorry, but enjoy it if you hear it. There is a book about Valiant Thor named A Stranger at the Pentagon. It is written by Frank Stengis. Please look it up. On November 3rd, 1973, Enrique Castillo Rincon, a Colombian citizen, made contact with beings from the Pleiades constellation. They said that a third world war is imminent. Gary McKinnon, a Scottish hacker who hacked into NASA's top secret files about aliens claim that there are different alien species working with the governments of the world. On December 7th, 2012, Dmitry Medvedev, then Prime Minister of Russia, told a journalist, when someone becomes president, he receives the briefcase with the nuclear codes and information about aliens living among us. On December 30th, 2013, Mr. Paul Elliott, former Defense Minister of Canada, claimed in an interview that UFOs are as real as airplanes. He even wrote a book with the same name. Paul Elliott asked the United States to come clean and tell the world the truth. He even mentioned that there is a galactic federation watching over humanity. You can see him in a short interview explaining that on Animal TV on YouTube. I cannot put that interview on my um, video, but you can find it, Anibal TV. I'll put it on the screen for you. In 1476, Leonardo da Vinci disappeared in a cave and would reappear two years later in 1478. Soon after his return, he began to show his genius abilities. As a fine artist, Leonardo painted a bunch of grotesque alien figures. But at the same time, he created prototypes of bicycles. 
helicopters, airplanes, ships, and all sorts of machineries that would later be manufactured. Here are the grotesque figures that I mentioned. Some of them do look like extraterrestrials. I'm talking about the same Leonardo da Vinci who painted the Mona Lisa, the Last Supper, and many more. An artist who encoded messages in his paintings, and he has those grotesque figures. As for his inventions, he even had parachutes and tanks besides the bicycles and airplanes and the ships, things that would be manufactured later after his death. Thank you for watching this show. I hope you have enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe.